So you're a produ producer or host for? I'm a producer and host of Lost LA. It's a, it's a public television series. It's a collaboration of KCET and the USC Library. So it's probably unique in that it's the only television show out there uh, co-produced by an academic library. Yeah, what we do is we take stories from LA history from the archives and share them with the public. Yeah. So I, I heard you talking about uh, one of the episodes was about Chavez Ravine, which became the uh, Dodger Stadium. That's right. Yeah, so Chavez Ravine it was a Mexican-American community for about five decades. Um, most of the residents were evicted to create a public housing project that kind of never came to fruition. And then a few years later, uh, Dodger Stadium was built in its place. It's a sad story, but um, as I was saying, you know, there's sort of a somewhat of a happy ending in that we have this modern baseball palace that really all of Los Angeles can come and enjoy. Uh, so there's a lot of like Los Angeles change going on every every day. Like I'll drive around and I'll see like that wasn't there before. Who, who did that? I don't know. Uh, yeah. What's what's something that like you you miss or like a, a big surprise for you in Los Angeles? Uh, well, I mean, sort of the biggest surprise. Uh, I'm really into trees here. I love tree history. Palm trees aren't native here. No, no. All of the palm trees here are, are imported from all the rest of the world. I mean, the closest palm trees grow out in, the, well, the Palm Desert, right? It's named after. But no palm trees in LA. It's the tree that's the most iconic of Los Angeles. And exactly, yeah. I was a big fan of LA Story, the Steve uh, Martin movie. Yeah. So the scene with the tail of the pup uh, hot dog cart uh -huh. flying through, I've when I moved here, they had just gotten rid of it, okay. and apparently they're bringing it back. I've heard that. Don't know much about that. Sorry. I was going to say that could yeah. be a great episode. But but there's isn't there a similar success story just sort of down the road where it's what is it called the the Idle Hour, oh, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bringing back that it's called programmatic architecture, right? Architecture that looks like um, real life objects, everyday objects, um, and that's that's actually sort of something that's special to LA. Um, you know, New York doesn't build a tamale stand in the shape of a tamale or a donut stand with a big giant donut out front. We've got Randy's down here. Well, exactly. And with, actually, I think there's something like 12 different donut shops with a big giant donut in front. Yeah, it's, it's an L.A., it's an original L.A. thing. Yeah. And then what got you into doing producing like this and hosting? Uh, you know what? I, um, I came at it as a writer. I've been uh, writing for KCET for a while, and they said, hey, let's make a TV show out of the articles you've written. So of course I'm a, and I'm sort of learning on the job, um, but I've learned a lot. It's so fun to make television and, and sort of share these stories with, with uh, the viewing public. And then do you have another season coming up? Yeah, yeah. So we, we had a, a pilot season last year, uh, three episodes, and we, were, we have a full season coming out this fall. Actually, we just had an, a special one hour episode uh, here last week uh, on the history of the Sconzo Gardens. So sort of looking at, at um, all of the different ideas about nature and the city's relationship with the environment and how those are sort of packaged into this garden. Yeah. I'm, I'm, there's, there's like a lot of vintage LA, like Facebook groups and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I love vintage LA. Alison Martino, she's great, yeah. So, and then like other, like uh, history of Los Angeles, like do you remember when podcasts and stuff like that? There's, mm -hmm. Short of a time as the city's been around, there's just a lot to unpack. There is, and it seems, I, th I think what you're hinting at is there's there's sort of this um, resurgence of interest in L.A.'s history, or there's maybe a new interest in L.A., and I think, you know, the city's sort of maturing. There are a lot of people here who really want to get a deeper sense of place, and really the way to do that is to understand, you know, where we came from as a city. Like, uh, even with, like, the Ciclavia, how it's, uh, they'll just shut down a road for people to, to ride down. Yeah. Have you done that? That's an amazing way to experience the city. No, I'm usually stuck between where it is and then where I need to go, so I'll like curse at all the bicyclists. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, I guess if you're on the other side of it, it's not, it's not such a great experience. But uh, yeah, like the, just the, the architecture down Wilshire Boulevard, like uh, there's so much Art Deco stuff going through there. Yeah, and you know, and you can really appreciate that on a much greater scale if you're on foot or on a bike. Um, driving past. Exactly, driving past at 35 miles an hour. Yeah, a lot of the details just blur by. But I'm, I'm glad to find out about your show now. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to check that out. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.